Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The time of year is spring. We love the spring because there are so many very, very neat products, floral products that become available that we can play with and enjoy. We're fortunate in that our floral school is located in one of the nicest residential areas of Boston, and so we get used to all kinds of beautiful shrubs and trees that bloom and blossom around this time of year. We have dogwood, magnolia, all kinds of things around here, but one of my all-time favorites that we really enjoy working with and seeing is lilacs. Lilacs are incredible, and this video we're going to be showing you some different ideas for designs that can be made using lilacs. The folks at Blooming of Beloit, Beloit, Wisconsin, have provided us with some wonderful product. Let me show you. You guys are going to love this. Look, this lilac. Isn't this stuff amazing? It's branchy. It comes in all kinds of colors. We get it in white. We get it in cream. We get it in pinks. We can also get our lilacs in lavenders, various kinds of lavenders. It is absolutely beautiful product. And the folks at Blooming of Belloit produce some incredible lilacs at this time of the year. And we want to show you some different ideas that you can do using your lilacs. First of all, lilacs love to have water in them. They love to have water in them. And therefore, they adapt themselves very, very well to water-based designing. If you look closely, we have two designs here uh, on our platform. Uh, both of them are water-based. One is kind of in almost like a little tornado kind of shaped container. The other one is almost like in a little brandy snifter. Uh, lilac lends itself very, very well to being able to just simply drop it into a container of water. Uh, in this particular case, using one particular variety. In this particular case, we have one variety on one side and another variety on the other. It really works so nicely for us. Now, you can come up with different looks for your lilac design simply by changing the container. And let me show you my viewer, pardon my back while I do this, but here's an example of how we can simply change our container and come up with a different kind of look. We have here a pyramid kind of container and we've just simply thrown our lilac in. We have a mixture of two different varieties. It's spread out, a little penny crest in there, and notice how it gives a really, really cool effect. Of course, we can go in other directions too. We can use our glassware and go with other kinds of glassware here. For example, we have a little bit more uh, way out kind of container. It's a very, very pretty container that happens to have even a little circle in the center where you can see a little air showing through here and it's got several tones on it. It's very, very contemporary. We have some of our Xanadu foliage over on this side and some of our lilac over on the top and you can see that with just a little bit of uh, our lilac and a couple of pieces of Xanadu we have something that is very, very attractive, very pretty and very, very kind of uh, contemporary in feeling in terms of our glassware. But there are other reasons that we like our, uh, our lilac as well in terms of materials. Lilac can play very, very nicely with other things. It can play nicely with other kinds of floral product. For example, in this particular base, we happen to have a very, very pretty design. It features lilac. If you look carefully, you'll see lilac here and here and here outlining on the back. But notice that in this particular base, we also happen to have our lilacs mixed with our viburnum, with our lisianthus. It gives a really, really pretty effect. And one of the things that I enjoy about using lilacs in our vase arrangement work is that it makes them feel very, very natural. It gives this kind of unarranged look that is so popular at the present time, even though we all know that this definitely is something that is structured. Uh, the container happens to be a, essentially a basket with moss that's glued onto it, and we do have a foam media here so that you can see it gives a very, very pretty effect uh, using our lilacs along with other materials. As I said, I like the effect that lilac have in terms of mixing with other things. And here's another example. As you can see, we've been very, very busy here at Rittner's producing all kinds of beautiful things for you in this demonstration. Our staff has been working full time coming up with all kinds of interesting things. In this particular case, rather than going with a foam media, we're going with glassware. We've got a big bubble container here, a big bubble container. 
we have our lilacs here, some pennycrest here, some lysianthus tucked in. And notice we also have some iris poking through here. Iris are another one of these flowers that love water and therefore lend themselves very well to water-based expressions. And then we have some branchy material, some kiwi vine that happens to be integrated in here and looks so nice in our design. So I think you can see we can go with various kinds of effects with glassware. And another advantage of using our, our lilac is that we can mix them with other things to come up with very, very pretty and lovely effects. Now let me show you how we can also go to a larger scale kind of design making use of our lilacs because we just love this material. It is so versatile and the folks at Blooming Abelloid really do produce some incredibly great lilac materials for us. Isn't this gorgeous? Isn't this spectacular? This is a more classical rendition in this particular design, definitely classical beauty, but it is relying again very, very heavily upon the use of our lilacs. We have here lilacs in several different varieties mixed in through the whole design. Our uh, foliage here is Pittosporum. We've got some of our Lysianthus in here. It's in a very, very classical container. And you can see when you're looking for a touch of classical beauty in your home, the use of lilacs mixed in with other things really works well. We even have a little spirea mixed in on this design. It is absolutely incredible. And I don't mind telling you that after this demonstration, uh, this design is going to go up into our living room because it is so great. It's such a beautiful design. Here's another example of taking our lilac and using it in a classical manner and it really works so, so well. Here we've got a, an urn. This is a very, very pretty urn, one being uh, sold in our industry at the present time. It is actually a plastic urn, but it gives a really, really uh, pretty effect. It feels almost like ceramic. And again, we're using, this is a good demonstration of how you can take lilac and mix it with other things. We have our lilac here, obviously through the design. Our viburnum, which work very, very well with it. Pennycrest mixed in. Uh, a little bit of our pittosporum, and of course we're using a couple of our gerbera almost as a focal kind of thing to, to shoot our attention in towards the middle of the design. It is classical beauty, classical elegance, done very nicely with the use of our lilac. Now let's go to the other extreme. We've shown you classical designing done with lilac. Let's show you a few examples of some a little more kinky things. Here is the same bubble bowl that we saw a minute ago, the same bubble bowl, but in this particular case, the bubble bowl happens to have some foliage worked into it. We've got some Monstera, it's absolutely incredible. And then we have lilacs and pennycrest just shooting out of it to give a more contemporary chi-chi, frou-frou kind of effect. So if you're interested in that kind of now look and you want something a little bit more way out, lilac works for that as well. Now, let's show you another example that I think works very, very nicely. Again, to give you a, a sense of just the variety of things you can do with this. Here, isn't this amazing? Isn't this amazing? A contemporary piece, a contemporary piece, using a container that looks distressed here at the bottom, but actually is quite new. We've got some of our Aurelia foliage on the side. It's absolutely stunning. We've got our our lilac over here coming over, shooting off on this side. Our Fujis form a focal area and a nice curve here and kiwi vine shooting off on the side. Very, very easy to achieve and absolutely stunning. Well, my viewer, we've covered an enormous amount of ground today, haven't we? We've seen that our lilacs can be used for all kinds of things. They work very, very well in water-based media and do well in a variety of different kinds of containers. They mix well with other flowers very nicely to give a beautiful look. They can be used in classical expressions as well as contemporary approaches as well. It is a pleasure to have welcomed you into our classroom today. We thank you for visiting us here at Rittner Floral School and we look forward to seeing you in many more videos in the future. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.